This was the first store that I visited. It was called 8 Bit and Up, and it's in the East Village of New York. And man, this place was a wicked little shop. You know, it was a labyrinth, and they had some really fantastic stuff there. Um, the first kind of stuff that you can see there is like Genesis carts, and then they had some snares and master system and stuff like that. But this place really took the idea of 8 bit and up to heart. So you can see here they've got some Atari stuff, some Intellivision stuff, uh, Coleco stuff there, card games and uh, board games, which is always nice to see, you know, embracing all sides of gaming. And uh, of course, they've got a lot of the Atari 8 bit stuff, which is just amazing because you hardly see that in the UK, especially like folders and the accessories and stuff that you would get. Tons more of Intellivision stuff. I wish I could have uh, fit this all in my bag. And a lot of it was boxed as well, which is just absolutely amazing. It was uh, quite a big store. You know, um, they could fit arcade cabs in there. They had a uh, box stuff. There's your Odyssey. Um, there's some Pez Lord of the Rings. And they had uh, your old lovely uh, Sega stuff there in the American boxes. Um, they had some high-end stuff at the back and uh, that was kind of, you know, kept out of the reach of the public, but they also had some really good box stuff here. That uh, copy of Fatal Fury 2 I ended up getting for Joe and, uh, you know, this is where the stuff gets expensive, so I thought I'd show you a clip of some of the kind of titles there and uh, a lot of them were beyond my price range, <laughs> you know, for the for the serious collectors but the best thing about this shot was they had stuff for people who weren't that serious like this really interested me a uh, uh, genesis box system i was about to say mega drive thank god and uh these were some of the games that they also had genesis boxed ones pretty cool stuff but then on the side they had all of these random boxes random joysticks and uh loads of like PlayStation titles, PS2, Sega CD stuff there, the Saturn stuff in those lovely huge boxes, uh, Dreamcast, a lot of the light guns, and uh, it was just great to see all the kind of American stuff being totally available for you to uh, browse through and go through these boxes on the floor, which, you know, some of the stuff was pretty dusty and like been there for a while, but uh, it kind of fit in with the New York aesthetic and like there's also these uh, CD wallets that you used to get and uh, loads of boxes of like random systems and bits and stuff which uh, just really fascinated me and carry cases and rob the robots. I ended up picking up a Sega Dreamcast web browser because that's weird, um, a Sega CD Tomcat Alley and also I was gonna get this Dreamcast, but it was a bit too much and I didn't really know if it worked. Now the second store we went to was even bigger and this one is called Video Games New York. And this was open on East 6th Street uh, in New York. And my God, this place is a pure tribute to video gaming here. And like 8-Bit and Beyond, it had a lot of the old stuff in there, but some of it was on display and uh, just there for kind of display purposes. There were a lot of box systems for sale, but they were far too big for my bag. Uh, they had like the Retrons and stuff there, and then, you know, a lot of GameCube, all this modern stuff like Xbox and <laughs> PS3. But uh, don't worry, this place also has some great routes, and, uh, you know, it's decently priced actually for a lot of the stuff compared to like eBay and... Uh, what you're gonna get. This was the one that fascinated my friends, which was the uh, Mega Drive, well, Genesis collection and all the Genesis boxed ones. And there was a lot of, uh, you know, American exclusives there, NTSC stuff. And uh, as you kind of went through these shelves, you, you found more stuff. So there's the Game Genie. Um, I'm not even sure what these carts are. I think they're old, old Atari ones and, uh, you know, there's stuff that I'd not really seen before. There was a really nice, like, uh, box set of systems, and all these ones were actually for sale. And I was so tempted, you know, seeing a VIC-20 boxed up there and a 
tons and tons of these carts, all sealed with a warranty that they'd actually work. Um, the Intellivoice for the Intellivision, like power packs, those reactor backpacks that you'd wear that would blast you. <laughs> and uh, just really awesome stuff. Now, I asked about this, which was a, a Dreamcast karaoke unit, NTSC, and I was like, man, I really want that. But um, this was one of those things where it was just display only, sadly. But they did have a ton of these, which were Atari trackballs. I don't know. Maybe there was a deal going on or someone was trying to get rid of them or they had new old stock. But um, there were lots of trackballs for the Atari, which uh, were pretty cool. And these lovely old original PlayStation cases. Now, this was the cupboard of gems here. They had some absolutely amazing stuff in there. They had like MSXs. Um, Atari, I think 2600 Juniors, if, if that's right, uh, Canon machines, uh, yeah, just, just really odd stuff that I've not seen before, um, the old Pong and the Breakout, and these were all for sale, the ones that were kind of like, had price tags on were all for sale, there was um, just some great import stuff here, you can see, uh, Super Famicom stuff, and then even seeing Virtual Boy stuff on sale. There's a Virtual Boy controller and some Virtual Boy games. That's unheard of for me. I never see some Virtual Boy stuff on sale and they had like some signed items um, from Nintendo and all the staff, a Neo Geo selection here, a Neo Geo CD. Like literally, I could probably just sell my house and end up <laughs> spending all of my money in this place. It was absolutely insane. So if you're ever in New York, I recommend that you definitely check it out. And uh, I managed to pick up a game for my mate, Dinosaurs for Hire. And uh, yeah, it was really good, decent quality. So that's a brief look at my uh, journey around New York and the video game store. Now, if you want to hear all about my trip to America, check out the podcast, The Retro Hour. It's out every single week. I did a couple of episodes from America, which was pretty cool. And we have an interview and we've got some fantastic interviews coming up. Can you believe it? We have a guest on every single week. And uh, this video is brief because it's just about the video game stores. But I have got a lot coming up. So um, check this out. Check out the RetroHour.com and keep an eye out for videos. Because I'm going to be doing one about VCF East, about the Computer Museum in Silicon Valley. I've got a lot of American footage to be going through. So uh Hope you enjoyed this and uh, spotted some rarities. Let me know in comments what you thought about it and uh, if you have any recommendations of stores in New York. Cheers. Thanks for watching.